Happy Tuesday, everyone. Well, things are starting to pick up after a mostly calm day yesterday. Some showers rolling on through, especially in the early morning, a little bit later in the day as well. Winds have picked up today. They're going to continue to pick up, especially as we head into the afternoon. We have another storm system rolling on through. You can see it just off of the coast. They're already bringing showers on the west coast and the coast itself. A little further to the south, that's where we're going to see the main approach of this system as low pressure dips just a bit to the south of us. and It'll bring one band of showers after another throughout the day later tonight into tomorrow and we'll continue into Wednesday with that potential for showers. But as we look a little bit further to the west, you can see another system after that. So we'll combine these two essentially going into today, your Tuesday. We've got wind, we've got rain, especially later tonight into tomorrow for a good part of the morning, probably on the dry side of things. Unless you're out on the coast, then it breaks on through a little bit closer and closer to the west valleys and then east of the Cascades. It's also on the warmer side. So for the most part, we're seeing rain in a lot of the populated areas. Got to head up into the mountains to really find it coming down snow. More rain on Wednesday with winds still on the increased side of things. So getting rather gusty, especially in the Shasta Valley. Then that all starts to break apart. We have a little bit of high pressure build in Thursday into Friday, even into Saturday. So we'll start to dry things out as we go into the weekend itself. But for the time being, you can see that system out off of the coast. They'll continue to move in through the course of the day today, moving in a little bit closer. Just early this morning, you can see those showers rolling on through snow at the higher elevations over the Cascades and further to the north with more rain further to the south. This is prompting some watches, some warnings, and some advisories. So do be aware of this. Wind advisories for parts of Jackson, Siskiyou, Lake, and Klamath County, a little bit of Modoc County as well. Some of those winds getting rather gusty, like what we saw over the weekend. Not quite to that level, but could see some gusts up to around 60 miles per hour, especially in the Shasta Valley. That's where we have a high wind warning. High surf advisory out on the coast as well. And on top of this, it could be a lot of rain in a short amount of time. So certain areas, especially on smaller streams, urban waterways, for example, example, could see some possible flooding, some ponding around the road. So we do want to be aware of this. That'll last till about 4 a.m. on Thursday because this is a sustained system one after another. That's just going to bring us more rain through the course in the next 48 hours. Here's yesterday. You can see the coast did see a fair amount of shower activity out there. Nothing too crazy, and we've added to that since midnight. This is just over the last six hours or so. And as you can see, we have had a fair amount of shower activity. This will increase as we go later into the morning, into the afternoon. So let's watch it with our projected rainfall. You can see the highest amounts mainly in northern California, Siskiyou County, and for the most part, that's over these higher elevations. We're talking Mount Shasta right around this area. So a fair amount of rain, an inch and a half to three inches in some areas. That'll continue as we head later into Wednesday. This is 4 a.m. on Wednesday. That's when we're seeing the main impact out there. Some of these numbers getting fairly high if you just add all of it together. Also more rain out on the coast. These blues a little bit more intense, half of an inch to an inch and a half there, and then more greens out there, meaning less than a half of an inch when it comes to your rainfall. That'll continue into Thursday as well, and then finally drying out later in the day Thursday. Here's your pinpoint forecast. You can see where most of the rain is staying. That's mainly out on the coast. It's just one band of showers after another, some of them breaking through a little further, but where we're seeing the main concentration of showers and snow, that's going to be over the higher elevations of Siskiyou County. You can see not a lot of snow involved in it, though. You got to go way up into the mountains to really find it coming down. We'll continue as we go into Wednesday. You can see just one band of showers after another, after another. We'll call it very scattered in nature, but just about all of us at some point going to see rain at the higher elevations, possibility of some snow, just not in the mounts and not as high of winds as what we saw over the weekend. Still, the winds are going to be a sticking point. Some gusts up to around 65 miles per hour possible out on the coast. Coast. In particular areas as we get into the weekend, some of those sustained winds could be around 20 to 30 miles per hour. So that's fairly breezy. We'll look at that as well for the West Valleys, especially northern California, where winds really start to pick up. Rain is most likely later tonight into tomorrow. And east of the Cascades, for the most part, dry. But we're also seeing snow levels rather high. So later tonight into tomorrow in the mountains could see some snow. But the rest of us probably just seeing more rain showers. Checking out the seven-day forecast showers later tonight. And then that'll continue on Wednesday, but drying out fairly quickly Thursday, Friday and a good part of Saturday, we're looking at dry conditions before another chance of showers on Sunday. Klamath Basin, that's the trend as well. More towards rain than towards showers as snow as we look over the next couple days. But snow showers are possible, about 6,000 feet and above, dropping as we get into Wednesday. Rain and wind for Mount Shasta, especially the Shasta Valley itself, before drying out. And for the coast, plenty of rain over the next few days, tapering off later in the day Thursday into Friday, mostly dry, dry into Saturday, with Sunday and Monday, bringing more chances to showers.